you know, 90% of hypertension cases are labeled as essential, meaning doctors don't know the cause. But what if the answer has been hidden in plain sight all along? Join me as we uncover the concealed culprit behind high blood pressure, a critical mineral deficiency that could be the missing link in finally understanding and beating this silent killer. Are you ready to take control of your health and tackle hypertension head on? In this video, we'll dive deep into the essential nutrients that could be the key to unlocking better cardiovascular health. You got vitamin D, potassium, zinc, folate, and magnesium. But that's not all. There's a crucial amino acid that plays a vital role in this equation, and I'm here to reveal it to you. Stay tuned as I break down the proper dosage for each of these nutrients, ensuring that you have the knowledge and tools to optimize your health and well-being. Don't miss out on this life-changing information. If you value the content I provide and want to support my mission to spread the word and heal one person at a time, please consider becoming a member of our community by subscribing to my channel. Your likes, comments, and questions are invaluable to me as they help me create content that truly matters to you. In this eye-opening video, we'll uncover the shocking truth behind the widespread nutrient deficiency that silently wrecking havoc on our health. I could easily spend the next hour listing every vitamin and mineral that contributes to hypertension and other diseases, but the real question is, why are we facing this crisis in the first place? The answer lies in the very soil that nurtures our food. Decades of unsustainable farming practices driven by greed and corporate control have left our soil depleted of the essential nutrients we need to thrive. You might think that simply moving to a different country, state, or region could be the solution to accessing better quality food. However, the harsh reality is that mineral depletion is a pervasive issue affecting even the most fertile lands. Some regions are hit harder than others, but no place is immune to this growing problem. And despite the growing evidence linking nutrient deficiencies to hypertension, Many doctors still cling to the outdated notion that sodium intake is the primary culprit. It's frustrating to see these professionals failing to think outside the box or just take a few minutes to understand the root causes of this complex issue. But when you consider the financial incentives at play, it becomes clear why some may be hesitant to challenge the status quo. After all, prescribing a quick fix in the form of a pill is far more lucrative than diving deep into the underlying nutritional imbalances. It's a sad reality that our modern healthcare system seems to have a drug for every symptom rather than addressing the fundamental causes of disease. But that's where we come in armed with knowledge and a passion for holistic health we can actually take control of our own well-being and demand better from those who are meant to guide us. Speaking of essential nutrients, let's turn our attention to the powerhouse minerals that is magnesium. Those who know me well are familiar with my unwavering emphasis of the importance of magnesium in maintaining optimal health. Not only is it crucial for properly saturating our cells, but it also plays a vital role in healing our arteries and combating hypertension. I've had many people tell me that they tried taking magnesium but didn't see any results. However, it's interesting to note that when they book a consultation with me and follow the guide I provide, they come back feeling relaxed, energized, and with a stable blood pressure. So in this video, I want to help everyone understand how to fix their blood pressure once and for all. I won't just give you a list of vitamins and minerals to take, but I'll provide a comprehensive guide that you can use as a solution. And all I ask in return is for your support through donations and by subscribing to my channel so I can continue to actually spread this important information to others. Instead of wasting time watching countless videos about coffee, exercise, sleep, and environmental toxins, which plays a relatively small role in blood pressure, focus on this guide to address the root causes of hypertension. Now going back to my list, do grab a pen and get ready. 
So one, not getting enough vitamin D can actually cause problems with your blood vessels and increase the blood pressure. If you're overweight on certain medications or don't get enough sun, you might need more vitamin D. Try to aim for at least 1,000 uh, IU per 25 pound of body weight in the summertime and 1,500 IU per 25 pound of body weight in the wintertime. Number two, potassium helps keep your blood vessels healthy and flexible. If you don't have enough potassium, your blood vessels can actually become stiff and making it very hard for your blood to flow and causing high blood pressure. Things like certain medications, uh, kidney problems, gut issues, and too much sweating can actually lead to low potassium levels. Three, zinc is important for keeping your blood vessels wide and allowing the blood to flow easily. We don't get enough zinc from the soil, our food grows in, and eating a lot of fiber, taking certain medications, smoking and stress can all lower your zinc levels and contribute to high blood pressure. Four, not having enough folate can actually raise the levels of a substance called homocysteine in your body, which can lead to high blood pressure and, of course, stroke. You can get your homocysteine levels checked with a regular blood test. If it's higher than 9 milligrams per deciliter, you might need to take about 2,500 micrograms of methyl folate per day. And folate can be lost when cooking, storing, or processed foods is consumed. Certain medications, smoking, and stress can also lower your folate levels and raise your homocysteine. Now, even some blood pressure drugs can actually spike your homocysteine levels. And last, magnesium is crucial for maintaining healthy blood pressure, but there's a trick to making sure your body absorbs it correctly. See, magnesium is used by your muscles, especially if you work out a lot, and it's also used up when you're stressed or anxious. And many factors can actually lead to magnesium loss, and we don't often get enough from our diet to maintain a good health. So to ensure our cells are saturated with magnesium, you should take multiple doses every three to four hours. However, magnesium needs some support to work effectively. So one, vitamin D is necessary for your body to actually absorb magnesium properly. Two, vitamin B6, P5P form helps convert magnesium into its active form within your cells. Three, an acidic environment such as stomach acid or apple cider vinegar helps dissolve magnesium salts and promotes better absorption. Number four, taurine, an amino acid, allows magnesium to enter your cells directly and of course saturate your heart correctly. Taurine works together with magnesium to maintain fluid and electrolyte balance in your body, especially in your heart. It does this by regulating sodium and potassium levels and helping your body get rid of excess sodium through urine. This prevents fluid retention and reduces blood volume, which helps control your blood pressure. So your action plan is vitamin D3, 1000 to 1500 IU per 25 pounds of body weight methyl folate 2500 micrograms per day zinc 15 milligrams at meal one and two milligrams of copper at meal two magnesium ionic chloride 200 milligrams mixed with 3000 milligrams of taurine every three hours vitamin b6 200 milligrams apple cider vinegar one teaspoon after every single meal